Just going into my greenhouse and you can see it's been damaged by Doris, it's been battered all over the place. We'll be getting a new one next season, but it'll do for this year. And as you look in, you can see we've got quite a bit going on here. Uh, we've got my tomatoes just around the corner. You can see I've still got a little bit of bubble wrap up. That's just because we've had a few frosts. There's my drain pipes, ready for my next sowing of uh, peas. Uh, I've got my lettuces. Uh, here to here are butterheads and then across are cos. And I've just planted some of those plugs into the little raised bed down there. I've also got some beetroot just at the bottom. Uh, more tomatoes, I've got another lot of peas. The reason I've done my peas in modules here is because these will go in the poly uh, and I'll show you that in a little while. Um, just under here we have got some, what have we got there, some dwarf French beans. They'll be coming through soon and then we've got different levels on here. So these are my herbs up here. Uh, these aren't actually, these are my cabbages. There's ones there, then I've got my herbs coming, and I've got dill, oregano, sage, parsley, coriander, everything else up there. Some leeks coming up, a couple of courgettes, um, and these are a couple of gardener's delight. I'm just doing in one pot to see if we can get them all the way through. Then I've got some flowers down here, I've got some a uh, couple of trays of sweet peas, some nasturtiums, some other bits, some sunflowers here and here, uh, another courgette some Chinese cabbage, some swede at the back, uh, we've got some larkspur over there as well, coming down I've got some more lettuce but this is a uh, cut and go, there's some more beans in there and then through there we've got some sugar snap peas and some spring onions and some other bits and bobs. Uh, under here we've got all, all sorts uh, we've got celeriac, spinach, perpetual, um, some more giant leeks. This is my first ever um, okra. I've got one out of eight that have come through. And um, the parsnips. A few have come through, not very good germination, but not too bad. That's getting ready for uh, Terry, old robotic gardener's uh, ugly parsnip challenge. Hashtag ugly parsnip challenge. Uh, and then coming up, we've got some of my squashes didn't have very good germination on these to be fair so we've got to have another go at those um, I've got some flat parsley which I potted on yesterday there's a few courgettes there so as you can see we're quite busy in this greenhouse um, I'll pop over to the polytunnel now and show you what we've been doing in there okay so here we are in the polytunnel this is a two meter by four meter poly uh, bought off eBay lots in here. I've got some more citrus trees down here and the pear tree uh, then you can see uh, just down here is my first sowing of peas, two gutters and some individual ones down the end. I've got my first five buckets of carrots, they've all come through, and three random cauliflower plants. If you watch my videos you'll know I've had these random bunch of cauliflowers knocking about for ages. Uh, and I've potted them on and they're starting to grow on. A bit of rosemary. Uh, down here I've got some ginger. And some other bits growing. Yeah, so down here I've got two gingers in these pots, and just behind that here is my basil. And then here we've got some uh, kale and cucumelons uh, and other bits and bobs. And I've got some sweet corn and French beans growing there, which will be grown in the tunnel. Uh, here's my chilies. These are sweet pepper, sorry, here, and then from this one onwards is lemon drop chilies. Potted those on yesterday, so they're still taking on a load of water. Uh, the first early potatoes, just down here, really going up now. Uh, the onion corner, we've got giant leeks on the top, and then we've got the onions of brunes from seed, and we've got the red onions for this year. And some line of peas in there as well because I had some room. I didn't want to waste any, so I've got some peas in there. Uh, these are my second earlies. These flew up in here. So there you go, they'll stay in here now in case we get a, a, a late frost. Then once again down here I've got some uh, we've got three spinach plants and a load of beetroot, and then down the end we've got some spinach chard all growing on. And then spinning around, you can see we've got the peas and they'll grow up this green netting. And we'll get a crop inside then I've got uh, giant sunflowers we've got 40 of them going up 
a big module of beetroot, some more beetroot, and then we've got three different types of spinach, beetroot and curly kale. Then we've got a mixture there of swedes and turnips. A couple of little lavender plugs I got through. They were so small, I just whacked five in a tub. Then we've got some of the bits and bobs coming up. Uh, and the temperature in here has been, uh, presently it is 32. The maximum was 34 and it dropped to 3.4 last night. Oh, I've got a few lettuce down there as well. They're an individual module, so they'll be being sown out soon. So that's the polytunnel. I'll show you what I've got now growing in the crates. Okay, so in the planters outside, we have got some beetroot. We have got some, let's spin that around. Some dwarf kale. Don't worry about the beetroot and the dwarf kale. They've got little cloches that go over them during the evening in case there's a frost. We've got onions. Two crates full of onions. And we then got our broad beans. Our garlic. This was the one that I bought from Tesco uh, just to see if it would work. Shallots. This one here is going to have some spinach in it once it's ready to go in. And then at the back you can see I've got my gutter with my strawberries in. They'll be going up. I've just got to build a little structure to put that on. I've got another two gutters to go on as well. And then I've got my shallots and my garlic um, for down the plot. That garlic, I'm actually going to grow it in, that, in those modules all the way through. Just an experiment, just to see if it'll work. If it doesn't, I've wasted a quid. No big drama. And then my shallots will be going down the plot. Um, and just down here I've got another four buckets. The old Morrison flower buckets. Uh, they've got some carrots in uh, and they've got candle in those, sweet candle. And then we've got the one in the middle, which uh, as the wife made sure, uh, that one's got some flowers in. Growth is just finishing now and the rest should be coming up soon. All in all though, it doesn't look too bad I don't think in the garden. I've got the crates off Facebook, um, one of the growing Facebook pages, I think they're about 15, 16 pound all in, including delivery. Put a Ron seal on them and they look the business. So that's my palleted veggie plot. Let's have a look what we've got going down the bottom of the garden. And you can see the chickens there having a little run around. They're being supervised by me. And there's no chance of any wild birds getting in touch with them. So don't worry about them. Uh, they're having a nice little smash around. I've got four hens. Um, and they live in there. And it's got a little roof on it from all the rain. You can see I've done a little ventilation gap in there first. A little bit of debris netting and then whack the corrugated plastic on top. Um, we get three to four eggs every day off the girls. There they are, cutting about the place, enjoying it. These are three new uh, blueberry bushes that I planted in yesterday. I've also got three pink champagne ones as well. Um, get in there, look, make a right mess. Come on, sweetness. I'll have to clean it up now. Uh, over here, we have got the second earlies, all potted in, ready to go. I filled them right up to the top. Um, just because I can. I've got the compost, so I thought why not? Rather than earthing up, I'll fill them right up. Uh, over here, we have got uh, my raspberries. They're covered over at the minute because the chucks keep getting at them and ripping off the leaves. But once I've been able to sort this area out, uh, they'll be out and in the ground. So, lots going on. Chucks are now following me around. Also, anything that I've got left over, I've got down the plot, I mean, I've got a few old cabbages that have bolted. They get tied up and their chucks make quick business out of them. Okay, so that was a quick look around my garden. And it is my garden. I do have two small kids, so I do want to keep it looking like a garden so they can play in there as well. And I want to keep it nice and tidy uh, to keep the wife happy. So we do have plenty of flowers and everything else. It's not just vegetables, um, but it does show that you can grow quite a lot in a small space. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now.